Hello and welcome back. This is Eureka Farms, episode 3 of our Let's Play. We're down here on field 12. We've got the canola seeding contract. There's not much else planned for today. Now, there's not much on the contract board. But hopefully, this field's going to take an hour or two. By the time we finish that, there might be something. If no, we'll just go to bed, get up in the morning, and see what there is on day five. It's still day four of mid autumn. I can't remember what was on the last video. It's been a while since I've done them. Uh, I think, if I remember rightly, I was waiting for a harvest in the field in front of us, which is field 13. I'm going to double check that. Yep, field 13. It's still raining. It hasn't stopped. It looks like it's going to stop tonight. And it's going to come back, I think, in two days' time. So we may get it dry enough, because there's a fair bit of wind. So we might get it dried up down to 15% moisture so we can start harvesting. If no, it's a loss. It's not our field, so it's not a big deal. But it is nearly £50,000 in the contract. But just now, I'm seeding this field with canola. We've got barley to go down into field 11. Um, I'm not too sure after that what's happening or what we're going to do. But we'll see what happens and we'll take it from there. Right, I'll leave you to it. We'll get a time lapse on this and we'll maybe see the end of this field or field 11. So we'll see you then. Well, that didn't quite go to plan, but we're back with more seeds. John Deere's coming in handy now. So, we've got six bags of seeds with 2,000 in each, uh, 2,000 litres, and that'll finish this field. Hopefully, it finishes field 11 as well. But, I'll have to wait and see. Right, I'm going to get going with this. Get these finished up. There we go. 
get these uh, seed bags in into the cart, put the tractor back up to the farm, get this guy going again. Don't think we'll get finished before midnight, but we'll just keep seeding, so we'll probably see you in the morning.
day six of mid autumn done with. No other contracts. We're just going to collect our money. We've done all these fields. Two, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. So, we'll up our pay. Back up to over a million. We've already bought the BGA and we've also bought that plot of land up there. So we are expanding slowly. I have a tree to possibly cut down. Uh, I'll be putting a new shed up in there to house my bigger equipment like my air drill, cart uh, and a couple other bits of equipment. Possibly a new combine. I don't know, that's maybe next year's plan. But for now, I'll get these guys back to the yard. And we'll see where the day takes us.
So we're back here in the yard. We've still got the seed tender and the diesel tank, the silo, and our shed. But we've done away with this one here, where we started off with. It's now changed a little bit in here. We'll just quickly jump out and give you a little tour of the machinery. So, I picked up this new uh, mower. I bought it uh, a couple of days ago. I just haven't been down to the farm, uh, the, the farm, down to the shop to pick it up. So I thought I'll go down today. I'll pay the deal of the 110,000 for our cedar and air cart, uh, the air cart, yeah, and pick that up while I was there. This is the front mower. I'm hoping to do a little bit of silage in next year. I don't have any grass planted anywhere yet. Uh, I just picked up what was round field uh, seven, the one that I own. It's already uh, fermenting at the the biogas plant there. But that's what I bought. Picked the grass up and then bought that little trailer to go with it. But I'm thinking if I'm going into silage in next year, I'm going to need a quicker way of doing it. So I might look at an actual foraging wagon. Um, size wise I don't know yet but I'd have to go northwards of you know 35,000 litres to save having to go back and forth all the time and possibly get field 8 or 9 so it's relatively close to to the biogas plant I've also got a Stuart's trailer down the back there our first cedar, the lambkin I bought a sprayer as well That's it's had that for a few days now as well um, it's more for herbicide uh, on my field and I wondered if any contracts would actually come up for it. So I'll put this up here out of the way just now. Something wrong with that shed. So just a quick tour around. I took down a few trees that was here, as you can see in the distance, the, uh, the orange leaves on that trees there, just between the sheds. There was a couple in the middle here, so I cleared them out and abandoned them at the corner of the yard just now because I could sell them later on for firewood or I'll put it into chips and sell that as well. Two pressure washers, nice large concrete area for cleaning my vehicles. We can just park this up here just now. If we run up here, we can see there's still a bag of uh, that's fertilizer. In here, storage for my seeds, liquid fertilizer, fertilizer if we have herbicide, which I think that's herbicide, yep. Uh, any other pallets of stuff that we, we pick up or we get along the way goes in that shed there. Now, we'll go to that other door first. I don't know if you've seen it through the door, but I did change my truck out. I did get a new trailer. In here. Yes, it does fit. I have to unfold it. And reverse it in while it's unfolding. And get in the door and fold it back up again because it does not fit under that door. But, it's in. The combine and our header and our two John Deere's the 4440 and the 4840 our two first tractors we started with with our 45 meter spreaders and uh, fertilizer spreaders in the back it's a massive cart when you look at it there is a bigger one with twin wheels that's not the biggest one that's just uh that's just a small one. There's a bigger drill as well, but I didn't want to go too big and 
cost a fortune just now, so. Now on to the good bit. Another shed in here. We did get the RYC 120 trailer. 120,000 litres, so it saves a lot of time when we're doing the harvests. And we upgraded the truck to the new TLX Phoenix. Just looks amazing. So that'll do for now. I'm gonna go and park my uh, my John Deere up and see if there's anything else to do later on this afternoon. Uh, I'll take the tractor in here maybe. I'll see if there's anything to do later on and we'll see you later on in the video. of barley has gone up today so I'm just unloading what I had in the storage on the farm 6,000 wasn't really worth taking was it the wheat should come up price tomorrow looking at on screen uh, display so I'm just going to wait till tomorrow, I think. Let me check the prices. I get back up to the farm. I put 2,000 bushels, 2,000 ish bushels of uh, wheat sitting in the bin. First trip out with a new TLX Phoenix. Like the engine brake. I think that's about it just now. There is no contract. Oh! We have a weeding contract. But I have to use a weeder. I don't have one. I was going to buy one. 
but I didn't see the point of it. I think it was about. Well, we're gonna have a look. Where is Weeders? The nine meter is eighteen grand. Twelve, fifteen, twenty-one. That's a fair, fair Weeder. That's the kind of size I would need. That'd be ideal. But it's fifty-six thousand. It's debatable. I buy a weeder for even twelve meters, so thirty-five thousand. Our contract's only given us thirteen, and this is the first one I've seen here on Eureka Farms. So I don't think it's worth it. I did buy the Cavernaland uh, sprayer, top air sprayer, as you can see, my field seven, no weeds. Weirdly, field nine too. Now the contract's on field six. That's a that's a massive field. Yeah, it's not going to be worth it just now. Might do in future, but what I have to look for is a lime spreader, because my field needs lime. But we'll get there. Still early days. Still the first year. So we'll see where the year takes us. Uh, we've done the barley. I have nothing else sitting. I did the... Oh, what was it? The silage. And uh, you'll have seen that on the, the time lapse just not long ago. Uh, that got sold at midnight. Uh, yesterday, which was day, day two. Now day three. Wheat, I think, is tomorrow. Sitting at 25 and a half ish to 26 for bushel. We check here. Wheat. Oh, today or tomorrow. Well, I think it's maybe worth going down to the feed supply with a load. Nothing in great demand yet. But I think that's what I'm going to do. Right, I'm going to take a load out of the feed supply company.